Good morning, sunshine. Come on. Can you do that right now? No, you can do it here. No time for that. I've got to go to work. Oh, when are you going to have time to clean up around here? How about washing your clothes and mowing the lawn? I have more important things to worry about right now. Is church on your important list? Hey, I go to church. Is leaving early after sacrament meeting considered active church attendance? You need to stop worrying so much. I wasn't worrying nine months ago. Well, I'm the same person now that I was then. Well, when you first came home from your mission, you weren't staying up late or sleeping in. You weren't skipping out on church early, and you were reading your scriptures and doing your chores. What happened? You can't expect me to go to bed early, have comp study, walk around like I'm wearing a name tag all day long. Things have to change. Why, Lucas? Maybe because I want them to. Man, don't back out on me now. Look, I know you spent a lot of time on this, Travis, but my brother's gonna be in town tonight, and if I'm not there, I can kiss a big chunk of my personal agency goodbye. Well, what am I gonna tell Sharon? Tell her whatever you want. Yeah, to be honest, I wasn't all that excited about that to begin with. So you want another Melanie? What's wrong with that? You wanna be with somebody that's that uptight? Up uptight? Man, you've never even met her. Again, remind me why she dumped you? She didn't dump me, she just wanted to make sure. Be sure of what? Another guy will put up with her nagging? Man, you need to let me get you out, introduce you to some more people. And besides Sharon, she is so hot and willing. Look, I'm not gonna be there tonight, okay? Well, you better plan on being single for the rest of your life then. Wait. Is she available tomorrow? Now you're talking. So, Joey, you had some amazing grades this semester. You want to hear something amazing? The prodigal son has returned. So, Joey, what was your toughest class this semester? Definitely political science. I mean, my final paper was just grueling. Plus, I had to balance out between writing and trig. It's really hard to find time for everything. Yeah, especially when you're trying to find time to kiss up to your professors like you did in high school, huh? What do you know about it, Lucas? You're not in college. That's gonna change, right, son? Yeah, maybe. I've already got a job, though. Oh, and are you planning on supporting a family by picking up trash for four hours a day? You wanna back off a little bit there, college professor? You know, Lucas, your brother's got a point there. You're either gonna have to look at some kind of a professional career, or you're gonna have to go back to school. I'm not worried about that right now, Pops. Well, maybe you should be. Anyway, Joey, what uh, have you thought about what you want to major in? Uh, not yet, but I'm kind of leaning towards communications. That'd be interesting. Yeah, it does. Almost as interesting as this conversation at the table so far. Lucas, back to rage. Now, Joey, you're still thinking about a summer job, aren't you? Of course. I've got nothing better to do right now. Well, then, son, you need to start saving up a lot of money, right? That's right. And you'll be wanting to pick up your papers from the bishop pretty soon. So, Lucas, why don't you tell Joey here one of the benefits of going on a mission? I don't know, Mom. I don't know if Joey's ready for the mission field. I don't know if he's cut out for it. Come on, guys. You've got better things to do than to cut each other down all the time. 
No, seriously, get, let him know what he's, what he's going to be in for. Okay. Joey, you're going to take more verbal punishment than you ever have in your entire life. You're going to feel more defeated than the Gold State Warriors or the Los Angeles Clippers. Take your pick. You're going to work harder than you ever have in your life. And you, to top it all off, people are going to hate you more than anyone they've ever seen in their entire life. You've just done a great job of describing a half-empty glass. How about something a little more positive? Positive? Well, one day it ends, and then you get to go back to normal. And I guess you think normal is having a dead-end job where you laze around the rest of your life? Well, beats not being able to think for myself for the last two years. Lucas, why do you persist in having such a negative attitude? Yeah, and what haven't you griped about lately? Dinner is pretty good. Just call her. She's not going to hang up on you. I don't know, though. Mm. What am I going to say to her, though? What did you tell her last time you called her? Not much. It's like we don't have anything in common. When in your two-year pre-mission relationship did you run into this problem? Never. Then what's the change? I don't know. Yeah. Can I come in? Yep. Gotta go, Rob. Honey, I'm sorry about the way the conversation went at dinner tonight. You know, your brother needs all the support he can get. I know. He's not the only one we're worried about. Well, you're worrying for nothing. Well, your attitude tells me differently. You've changed whether you'll admit it or not. I don't know why you're so concerned. I'm 22 years old. But you've had the experiences of a 35-year-old. I thought we went over this this morning. We just want you to be happy. Are you? Yeah. Love you, dear. Love you, too. Good morning, sunshine! Study time. 
Earth. Earth, Elder Stevenson. What? What did we agree about comp study yesterday? Yesterday? Do you we agree that the day goes much better when we study and plan together? Hmm? Yeah, sure. Come on. Come on. Come on, little camper. Come on. Knock it off. <laughs> Sorry, what happened to you? It's such a good feeling to know you're alive. It's such a ha happy feeling, a feeling inside. And so what does our day look like today? fan flippin -tastic, but there's nothing set. Not until our 8 o'clock appointment with Walter and Katie. Do you think we should teach in the third discussion this time? Whatever you think. Well, this is the discussion where we commit them to come to church every week. I think Walter's going to have a hard time with that. Probably. Uh, but until then, it's time for some good old <coughs> macaroni, you know what I mean? Hutch, look, have we ever found anyone attracting? No reason to let past experiences get you down, Elder. You're telling me that the most effective thing we can do today is tracting? You can't expect not to knock for your last three months. I didn't say that. Look, it's just... I don't see how you can get so excited about going out and knocking on doors all day long. It's not the knocking. You've been in field longer than I have. You should know that you're not going to find success unless you're doing everything you can to find people. Fine. Let's go. So what do you think of the area so far? I don't know. It looks just like the rest of the city. Well, besides the way it looks, then. Well, I've been here, what, a week? I can't say yet. Well, I, I just wanted to know, because you've served in every area in the mission, or almost, and I wanted to know how it compares. Well, we aren't getting into very many doors so far. Can I be honest with you? Yeah. You're not the elder I've heard so much about. What do you mean? Well, my trainer was your greedy, and well, he said you were the best missionary he ever worked with. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm not saying you're a bad elder, it's just I imagine somebody with more positivity, more, more enthusiasm. Well, maybe Elder uh, Richardson didn't know any better back then. And that's what we call the great apostasy, just as it says in Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, days cometh, saith the Lord God, in which I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor of thirst for water, but that of hearing the word of the Lord. Now we have further proof of this in the New Testament, where Paul stated, Though we, or an angel from heaven, s preached unto you any other gospel than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. So how was that? Depends. Depends on what? Well, if you call pounding doctrine into unsuspecting old people effective missionary work, then I'd say you did a slam bang up job. Hey, well, what have you done to help me since we've been together? I mean, I've heard plenty of criticism, but not one single suggestion. Why don't you just show me how it's done? Fine. Missionaries from the Church of Jesus. Yeah, I know, I know. You're the Mormons, right? Look, I've got a lot of work to do. Well, yes, but our message is really quite brief, so I was wondering if you had five minutes of... Look, I'm, I'm really not interested today. Ma'am, but this is important. Bye. Bye. Nice job. She almost shut the door nicely. I think it's time for lunch. Actually, I think we've got time for a few more doors. Hutch! I may have been transferred here to your area, but I'm still senior comp. Well, then you might want to go the other way, since you're walking away from the bus stop.
We are out of this to tell the conflict is all happy are we, happy are we. Oh, and I hope and pray that you'll stop singing right now. Cause your voice scrapes like a rusty nail. The you're a cranky, I'll kick your pants. Boy, I hope you get transferred to France. <laughs> your mom's in France. Shut up. <laughs> um... Stevenson, I, I shouldn't have gotten so defensive at your comment today. Don't worry about it. You had the right. I shouldn't have come down on you like that. Well, um, calling you out on it wasn't exactly the most effective thing for the work. Still, I have no room to talk. My teaching skills are shot. Why is that? Never mind. Well, we got two whole transfers to work on it before you go home, and... What do you plan on doing afterwards, anyways? Honestly, I have little to no idea. How about you? Well, I've got two more years until I get my bachelor's degree in pre-law, and by the time I graduate, I should be married. And then me and my wife can move to Southern California where I can attend Stanford, and by the time I pass the bar exam, we should have two, maybe three kids. Really? No. Except for the getting married part. <laughs> do you have someone waiting for you back home that you're just confident about getting hitched? No, but I know if I do everything right, everything will happen at the right time. And that will probably be sooner than later. <laughs> Speaking of girls, how's Melanie? Melanie? She's great. I'm going to write her this Monday for sure. Now, now I'm curious. This is the most we've talked about our personal life since you've been here. What's the change? I kind of don't want to talk about it. It has to do with my last comp. You know I killed off Elder Lassiter, right? Yeah. Well, we had a lot of fun on this last transfer. Probably too much fun. It was like a six-week going-away party. Yeah, actually, I did hear about that pyrotechnic show with Lassiter's suit. <laughs> anyway... When I was transferred here, I was disappointed because I thought that I'd be able to finish out my mission in the last area, and that kind of fell through. So I decided before I even met you that we weren't going to get along, like me and Elder Lasseter did. And we didn't. But now what do you think? You're still an annoying turd. But... But what? <laughs> Fine with me, you slimy piece of worm and filth. Let's go back to work. Hey, you know that guy with the pierced eyelids? I think he'll call us back. I'm serious. 
Oh yeah, and uh, George and Joanne, was it? That appointment we got? I think that's gonna be good. You mean the one that you got? Yeah, cause you know, we're, we're not a companionship or anything. Come on, we were having fun. It's important for success. I, I just don't feel like I can do it. Just the mere thought of testifying makes me cringe. You've been doing this for a year and nine months. What are you talking about? Well, it's different now. Since when? Since... Last transfer, I guess. I don't know. I, I didn't mean to get so... <laughs> Trunky? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, sleeping in on P-Day turned into sleeping in every day. and Well, you know where this is going. Yeah, just leave it to my imagination. By now you probably think I'm apostate. Well, nobody turns from a normal upstanding citizen to a bank robber for no good reason. Certain decisions started a snowball effect and, well, ever since then something's been eking its way out of your life. But you can get it back, you know. It feels like it's too late. Who told you that? It's in you, Elder. You expect me to forget about everything that happened in the past? No, don't forget about it. Just leave it in the past. All you have to do is focus on the future. If you don't change it right now, it'll just keep going downhill. I mean, this is your chance to change that. What? This is your chance to change course. My chance? Come on, we got half an hour to our next appointment with Walter and Katie, and I don't know how we're gonna get that guy to come to church. Let's talk about it on the way. All right. As with other ordinances, those who partake of the sacrament are making a covenant or promise with the Lord. As part of this covenant, we renew the promises we make at baptism. We will take upon us the name of Christ, always remember him, and keep his commandments. And if we do that, we will always have his spirit with us. Katie, what do you understand about the purpose of the sacrament? I think that through the sacrament, we commit ourselves to follow Jesus. That's right. Well, I know that the sacrament is a very important part of our church meeting. I also know that the sacrament is sacred. In addition to partaking of the sacrament during worship services, the members teach each other the gospel. They enjoy a sense of unity, mutual strength, and fellowship with other members. Those who neglect these meetings miss blessings that the Lord has provided for us. So, are you saying that unless we go to church all three hours each week, we won't be blessed? Well, we receive blessings for all good things that we do. It's just the Lord can't give us all his blessings unless we're willing to do all, it, all that he asks. Well, what about this? You two have come over here day after day and you've told us about how important family is. But oftentimes I work all day long and sometimes Saturdays. And if I'm not working Saturdays and we're working in the yard, we're doing all the shopping for the week. So Sunday is really the only day we have to spend together. But how are we supposed to be a family on Sunday if we're cooped up inside of a building half the day? I know that you want to spend time with your family, and that's a very important part of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But the Lord has been very clear. He wants us to be willing to do all that he asks, no matter what the See, that's where I'm confused, because I don't see how the circumstances could pull me away from spending quality time with my family. Brother well, Hammer, can I share something with you? Sure. There's a scripture in the Book of Mormon that might help you to understand this point a little better. In this chapter, the prophet Alma is explaining some very simple yet important truths to his son. Could you read verse 1? My son, give ear to my words, for I swear unto you that inasmuch as ye shall keep the commandments of God, ye shall prosper in the land. And what do you think prosper in the land means? You'll be successful. That's right. If we live the commandments, the Lord promises us success. The question is, are we willing to follow them? Brother and Sister Hamburg, will you keep the Sabbath day holy by attending your church meetings and doing things that bring you closer to your Heavenly Father? I've felt good about everything that you've taught us since you guys first came over. 
even though what you ask is hard, I, I still feel the same about it. Like I said before, lately our family's been feeling a little empty, and right now I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get that unity back again. I know you will on Sunday, Walter. What you reading? I had a dream last night, Elder. It was, it was more of a vision, but it was so vivid. Well, if it's about money, you can cram it. <laughs> no, I, I was home already. Well, don't all missionaries have dreams like that? Yeah, but this one was so real. I remember everything like it really did happen yesterday. And it was pretty sad. I, I had no purpose. All I did was work and sort of hang out. It was so normal, but at the same time scary. You know, I, I, I didn't understand the significance of it when I woke up this morning. That is until I read Messiah chapter 4 verse 11. I would that you should remember and always retain in remembrance the greatness of God and your own nothingness and his goodness and long suffering towards you, unworthy creature. And humble yourselves, even in the depths of humility, calling on the name of the Lord daily. It all made sense after that. I, I can't explain it, but it was like I was given the chance of a lifetime. I don't know what I did to deserve such mercy. I don't know. Shade sure of Stevenson. Ten thirty, lights out. You're right, Hunter. Action. Or remind me again why she dumped you? She didn't dump me. She just wanted to make sure. Lucas, you had some amazing grades this semester. You want to oh, something I said Lucas. Problem solved. 
told you that. Come on. Come on. Huh? 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 We got blue cards. We got red cards. Crazy Eddie here. We got so many cards people saying, Hey, Crazy Eddie, where'd you all live cards? We're gonna come down here right now and buy a car. I'm gonna beat this baby seal. That's right. See him there, the Zulu chief, chief, chief. Chief, I come as Zimba, Zimba, Zaya. So I can't. I'm looking at a pillow. It's okay. Thanks. I'm working Sunday. I'm working Sunday. But if I'm not working, okay. I got it. Sorry. Just kidding. <laughs> Sometimes Saturday. Oh, what comes after? Now I'm like thinking about blinking the whole time. Okay. See, that's where I'm confused. So, are you saying that unless we go to. <laughs> Work all day long, and sometimes on. Elder Hutch. <sighs> so, are you saying that unless we go to church, I, I, I'm going to be thinking about that all the time now. It's work all day long, sometimes Saturday. It's okay, it's just a I was like, yeah. I'm hating this, and my whole body is sweating. I had this line memorized and then I like fell asleep and forgot it all. Bring it. Here we go. Sure, go ring. Go. 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 You gotta say action or what? Just ring the fucking go. Would you like to hear a message you want about five minutes long about Jesus Christ? No, I don't. You're not interested? Well, Okay. We're already in Oh, you? Yeah. Well, well. Yeah. That helps. <laughs> We're making a movie about missionaries getting turned down. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Will hey, you say? You get the hell out. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I've got half an hour to our next appointment with Walter and Katie. Why'd you hit me? I said, why'd you hit me? What are you going to do? Oh, yeah, you like that? Oh, my God.